does prayer get so boring sometimes? After praying for five minutes, it seems like I've been praying for the past one hour and it's so boring. I just want to say amen and go about my daily activities. And sometimes I go about the day not even saying hi to God. And um, God is supposed to be the, the man that has every answer to every question that I have and would ever have. So guys, when it comes to prayer, we do not pay much attention to prayer. You can actually check incoming calls sometimes. You, you maybe browse on Facebook or you have your phone ringing when you pray or something like that. But when it comes to you talking to maybe your spouse or somebody close to you, sometimes you want a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You want to just talk to that person and listen to the person's heartbeat. Now, why does it happen that way guys when you do not know someone you really cannot spend time talking to the person mostly we do not even know who god is and we don't even you know we don't have a full knowledge of who god is so studying the word of god is that one thing that will make you draw closer to god and be able to know his plan and purpose for your life and like i said before when you study the word of god you are changed into that same image the more you behold the word of god the more you you see god the more you spend time in his presence the more you become like him you think like him you see like him you start seeing other people in through the eyes of god you start seeing even you through the eyes of god you are now able to accept his plan and purpose for your life and that's the reason why you now be able to stay on the altar of prayer asking him questions God concerning this thing what do I do okay God have take all the glory I love you God you are faithful you are wonderful you spend that time you know communing with him you now have that time of fellowship with the father unlike just you going to him asking for you know all these other things and not giving out time to fellowship with him and give him all the praise hallelujah and guess what if you do not spend time with God if you do not seek for a more intimate relationship with God, you will never ever be able to portray or to really live out the life that he has called you to live. You will not be able to experience his glory to a higher dimension. So guys, I urge you today, desire to have a relationship with God unlike just somebody up there who can, you know, be like Santa Claus giving out gifts to you when you need them. He will do much more if you seek first his kingdom, if you seek first coming closer to him. That is why he sent Jesus so that we might not perish but have everlasting life so that fellowship with him can be restored because it was, you know, it, it, it was broken in the garden. So guys, I urge us, let's take our prayer lives a bit more seriously and listen to this great woman of God. Uh, Priscilla Shara, she said something. If you truly know that the devil is strategizing and making everything possible, possible to make sure that you do not prosper in your marriage, in your career, in your ministry, in, in, in fact your children's life, lives and everything that pertains to you, then not strategizing to make sure that you conquer this enemy, it's foolishness we have conquered already by the blood but we need to step up the game and be able to seek God's face in prayer so that we we will stay in that place of victory praise the Lord so I guarantee you guys taking your prayer to the prayer life to the next level will never never live your lives the same again hallelujah if you have not given your life to Christ please say this prayer after me say Lord Jesus I come to you today I believe that you died for my sins and on the third day you rose again Thank you for saving me. Today, I receive you as my personal Lord and Savior to serve you, the living God, in Jesus' name. If you said this prayer after me, congratulations and welcome to the family of God. And in case you do not know, heaven is jubilating over you that have come into the inner circle. Please find a Bible-believing church around you where you can fellowship in and move your life to the next level. And until next time, guys, remain ever blessed. You know it. I love you so much. Bye-bye.